at 5.30, a 17-year-old boy sent to a juvenile detention center here in South Florida ends up dead. Now, multiple agencies are investigating what happened. Right now, a number of agencies are waiting for the medical examiner to release the official cause of death before commenting on the death any further. But we are learning more about what the teenager did to get locked up in the first place. CBS 4's Cynthia Demas has more. This is 17-year-old E. Lord Revolte. This image put on Facebook, written above the picture, rest in peace to my cousin, E. Lord Revolte. No farewell words were spoken, no time to say goodbye. You were gone before we knew it, and only God knows why. Investigators are trying to figure out why and what happened. We do know Revolte was in foster care and ran away from this Miami Beach foster home in July after being there only two days. He eventually ended up in juvenile detention, where a fight broke out Sunday night. The next day, he was brought to Holt's Children's, where he died. They are usually, you know, very nice people, never had a problem with any of them. The neighbor of Revolte's foster mom mom who didn't want to be identified said she's heartbroken. Angel Tamayo lives at the same foster home. I was in shock, so I, was, I didn't know like, that happened to him. What happened? Revolte disappeared from his foster home. He was reported missing. Then police reports show on August 28th, Revolte and another boy robbed a man on Miami Beach on the corner of Washington and 9th, stealing his cell phone. He wanted to like, make money and stuff by himself. He didn't want people to, he didn't want to depend on people. Revolte was put into the juvenile detention center when just days later, after a melee involving 15 to 20 other kids inside broke out, he died the next day. The Department of Juvenile Justice said in part, it's absolutely heartbreaking. In addition to the investigation by Miami-Dade Police, the department has our own investigation to ensure all proper procedures were followed. The DJJ and the state attorney's office say they're waiting for Miami-Dade County Police to wrap up its investigation before commenting any further. And Miami-Dade Police say they're waiting on the medical examiner's report before they can comment. Meantime, there are a number of cameras inside the detention center that record the moves of those inside. We have requested a copy of what was caught on camera Sunday night. In Miami-Dade County, I'm Cynthia Demas, CBS4 News.